you my song These words to you Sing you what I feel My soul is true Girl, I don't have the world Can't give it to you, girl But all that I can do All that I can do Is give a song to you na 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 na, -na. This is Leon Thomas III. A lot of us remember him from his role as Andre Harris on the hit Nickelodeon sitcom, Victorious. His talent has caught the eyes of many viewers as he played a key role on the show. But after the show reached its conclusion in 2013, he and many others faded from most of our adolescent minds. And the most important question is, what has happened in his career up to this point? Leon G. Thomas III was born on August 1st, 1993 in Brooklyn, New York. He pretty much grew up around music, with both of his parents performing in a band called One Nation. Leon's mom coincidentally never believed in babysitters and this allowed him to soak in the atmosphere at New York Club Lola's every Wednesday night. Being exposed to live music eventually led him to audition for The Lion King on Broadway at age 10, landing the role as Simba. Doors continued to open for Leon, getting the nudge by Nickelodeon to appear as the singing voice for Tyrone in the animated series The Backyardigans. He also wrote a song that appeared in the movie August Rush. After signing a development deal, he appeared on many classic Nick shows like iCarly, Just Jordan, and The Naked Brothers Band. With the groundwork already laid, a young Leon reached even greater heights. After all these years, it was his time to shine. It's funny, I worked with Nickelodeon since I was 13, yeah, 12 years old. They, backyard they, again. Backyard again. Yeah, and so I, I literally grew up on the network from Nick Jr. all the way up to Teen Nick, and then I graduated and went into, <laughs> you know, doing movies and, and other stuff in the acting world outside of the Nick umbrella, but yeah. it was just really awesome to to kind of grow up in the industry that way. Fast forward to March of 2010, when Nick debuted the hit sitcom Victorious, featuring names like Victoria Justice and Ariana Grande. Leon will play one of the show's main characters, Andre Harris, a well-liked and talented musician. He fit right into this role, as it wasn't too far off of his real life self. On set, he met Ariana, with whom he built an unbreakable musical connection both on and off screen. They often talked about their goals and aspirations together, foreshadowing big things down the line. During his time with Nick, Leon featured in a few songs on the soundtrack album for Victoria and even wrote a few himself. Production for the series ended in July of 2012 and the last episode aired in early February of 2013. And then to be, you know, a participant in something that oh. great and to see that people received it as that, you know, like I had a kid walk up to me and say, you know, I I had nothing. My family was, you know, super poor, man. But, you know, you guys made me laugh in times when we were super sad. And it's just, it's crazy to see that people you know, were really affected by this show. They yeah. were, you know, they it really it really molded a lot of a lot of human beings. Now it's just yeah. it's just nuts to even think of that. You know, it's just tough, man. Everybody's busy getting yeah. it in. I mean, I know my time is limited, and I'm I'm just kind of making it work. I, I'm pretty much my own boss. But like for everybody else who's who's doing their thing, and it, I know it's definitely tough to to you know carve out that. At personal old exactly. cast made time. In August of 2012, Leon released his first mixtape called Metro Hearts, which included a cover of Drake's Take Care with former co star Ariana Grande. He went on to co write four songs on Ariana's 2013 album, Yours Truly, while producing music as a member of the production duo of The Rascals. It was later that year that Leon released a new single titled Hello, How Are You, featuring platinum recording artist and weed connoisseur Wiz Khalifa. In 2014, he released a new mixtape, Vibes, with production from A Tribe Called Quest and the one and only Noah 40 Shit. Be. Drake had to be scouting out new members for the OVR roster because I don't know how he got 40 to produce a mixtape. It's crazy. By now, Leon had already been working with a variety of mainstream artists, gaining buzz. His prowess as a singer and producer was beginning to be noticed more as he worked on songs for Victorious as well as Independent Ventures. In 2016, Leon served as a co-producer for Post Malone's album Stoney and released another project of his own on SoundCloud. He held on to his love for acting in 2017 when he appeared in the film Detroit and the TV series Insecure. Am I gonna do a TV show soon? I've been kind of a... Uh... I've been trying to figure out this whole acting thing, you know? I really love doing it. I just kind of hate... I hate a part of the process. Like, just the pick me, pick me pro... Like, the process is like... And the more and more I get empowered as a... As an entrepreneur and as a songwriter and producer, it just kind of gets harder to, like, throw myself back into that process. But I do love being in front of the camera, so... Who knows, man? Hopefully one day I'll... 
I'll get back at it. The year of 2018 saw the release of his debut EP, Genesis, which featured guest appearances from Buddy and Taylor Parks. The next year, Leon Thomas earned a Grammy Award for Best Rap Song nomination at the 62nd Annual Grammy Awards for co-writing and co-producing the Rick Ross and Drake song, Gold Roses, a certified hit. He will also go on to write and produce more records under the Rascals production duo, as well as a solo producer, co-writing and co-producing two songs on Ariana Grande's Positions album and three songs on Drake's Certified Loverboy. In the Bible, Pipe Down, and Love All. Hmm. How did it feel to work with Drake? I ain't gonna lie to you, I was super nervous. Like, <laughs> sitting there playing beats and stuff, it's like, it's it's definitely a vibe. I'm really excited to see where everything goes, you know? I'm taking everything one, one step at a time, man. But the crew is really cool, man, meeting the whole OVO crew. In May 2022, Leon signed to Ty Dolla Sign's Easy Money Records imprint to become the label's first artist. He is set to release his first studio album called Electric Dust later this year. Now at 28 years old, Leon's focus is less on the acting that he's known for and more on cementing himself in music history. He has been very grateful to reach the rare position that he has worked hard to achieve and wants to build off of it. As a fellow dreamer, I wish Leon nothing but the best and hope he does just that. And, and, and that even I've been able to go above and beyond what I expected I would be able to do. I mean, I had no idea I'd win a Grammy at 21. Like, <laughs> that's like not in the cards for most people. They think, mm -hmm. you know, maybe one day. I mean, yeah. people work their whole lives for that. So 